Hello all, my name is Krishnak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, we are into the sixth episode of AI Tech News and we'll try to see the recent development in the world of AI. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to the channel, press the bell notification icon so that whenever I upload new videos, you'll get the notification. So let's go and let's see what are the top news. So the, so the top AI tech news that we are going to discuss in this session is a computer model predicts your thoughts creating image based on them. US election 2020 new tool detecting deep fakes created by Microsoft. And then the third thing is YouTube to let creators use Google AI to automatically reply to the comments. So uh, we are going to see this. So let's go ahead with the first news over here in depth. So a computer model predicts your thoughts creating images based on them. So in the right hand side, you can see the image guys. Uh, there is a use of EEG machine. And if you don't know about EEG machine, it looks something like this. Uh, you can see that this is a detailed image. So this you actually have to put on your head and uh, this will be actually connected to the computer like this. So whenever you are seeing anything, whenever you are thinking about anything, right, that can be actually converted into images, right? So here you can see that the person is thinking about something and that in turn is basically fed to the computer and that particular computer is actually converting that into an image. So it has it has been combining EEG brain function data, uh, brain computer interface technology and artificial intelligence. Researchers have created a system that can generate an image of a person, what, what a person is actually thinking. And this was developed by the University of Helsinki. So you can see that researchers at the University of Helsinki have developed a technique in which a computer model visual perception by monitoring human brain signals in, in in a way it is as if the computer tries to imagine what a human is thinking about okay one question to you all guys uh, where where is actually university of helsinki located you can actually answer it by putting down the comment in the description but in short it takes the brain signals whatever that we are thinking it feds it fits to the computer and then it is basically created as an image so this is how a EEG machine actually looks like and this is actually connected to the computer itself too so that it can capture the neuron signals Coming to the next news is that US election 2020 it is all about, about US election 2020 a new tool detection defects created by Microsoft. Now here you can see that it can detect from a video and this can be a really really challenging thing because right now because of the development of defects it can actually lead to a lot of misuse uh, in various areas right and similarly elections is one of the category where you know a leader face can be actually taken into somebody's face and anything can be spoken through that right so that is the major disadvantage of deep fakes uh, this was previously only used for pornography but now it is being used for the first time in the election right so microsoft has announced a new tool that it is developed in order to combat the spread of deep fakes ahead of the us presidential uh, presidential elections in november a deep fake is a video where artificial intelligence and deep learning and algorithm learning method used to train computers has been used to make a person appear to say something that they have not okay so i think you have seen some of the videos of uh, the former president of us like barack obama where people are actually trying to say something and uh, the face the deep because of the deep fakes that they were actually able to put the face of barack obama itself so yes a wonderful invention and definitely it will be very very helpful in the us election itself right and uh, the software which we actually call is something called as microsoft video authenticator it is used to, it is able to analyze a still photo or a video and give the viewer a rating on the likelihood that it has been altered right so uh, this is how the video looks like i'm just going to play it with it whenever it says red that basically means that authenticator will actually say that the likelihood has been altered okay so coming to the next news and this is pretty much amazing for the all, to, all the youtubers because definitely youtubers are, do not have much time to reply all the comments so now youtubers uh, probably in some days will be uh, youtube is allowing creators to use google ai to automatically reply to comments so this kind of uh, comments is already there and this comment thing commenting thing ai commenting thing is basically called as smart reply it is a technology meaning that the comments you see on the site might, might not actually have been written by a human the technology analyzes messages and then uses artificial intelligence to guess what a person might want to say in response to them simple the technique that may be used is like transformers or BERT or some advanced techniques of transformers itself right so user can then select that response and post it without having to write anything about them it is already been present in gmail and other android message apps like whatsapp linkedin and many more things right and it is open to developers who can integrate okay this is also amazing it is also open to developers who can integrate it within their own apps so yes, this was the top three news that I really wanted to discuss today. I hope you like this particular video. 
please don't forget to subscribe the channel guys share with all your friends and i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you and all bye bye